Hey y'all, so today uh, today we did our PRT module for SM. Again, this is not a module, this is a SM uh, PRT, uh, which you'll be conducting uh, preparation drill, uh, 444, CD1, CD2, and climbing drill, and uh, recovery drill. So <laughs> I did fail, but uh, man, it was, I thought I had passed, but I did fail. Uh, but it, it is totally on me because what I what got me I, was the little thing. So I did not inflect my voice, meaning I did not raise, I did not do a command voice when it comes comes to go to like starting position, move. I did not increase my voice or volume. And man, when you become the AI, uh, I always said uh, uh, this is like you know for the bend and reach. This is a. Uh, four count movement uh, can execute it at a slow pay, uh, slow cadence and on count one you'll do you know um, yeah uh, the starting position is a straddle stance and on count one do 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 what I should have said it was the command of execution so what got me was um, not saying command of execution on the ten exercises of the preparation drill and not inflicting in my voice uh, when doing the command voice. Of command of executions and yeah command of execution so it would be like attention exercise or like during the last repetition so yeah so my recommendation is uh if you don't do organization pt <laughs> do organization pt on your own or whatever but practice inflicting uh, your voice on your last three reps before the uh, during the during when you're about to say halt so when we do the modules for prt it's uh, it's always uh, going to be like you'll have your squat and you'll do three repetition of, of the bend and reach, if that makes sense. So three repetition of each exercises. And then whenever the uh, drill sergeant uses to switch, you'll switch with your AI and you'll continue on from there. I also will say what I didn't know is that, it, cause you know, whoever, you know, like if, if the AI, or if, you're, if your partner, your AI skips exercise or whatever, and you caught it, you can go to the DSO and let them know, hey, so-and-so skipped the exercise. Again, I did not know that I was just cutting you through and pushing through. But nonetheless, what got me to failure was not uh, saying the command of execution uh, when my when the PI had said the uh, said exercise. So how it goes is when they say bend and reach, you know the start uh, the bend and reach, starting position move, and in cadence exercise. So in this three moments, you have to say. You know, like uh, the starting position for the bend and reach is star stance, or bend and reach is a four count movement executed at a slow cadence, right? And it says starting position move, you'll say starting position for the bend and reach is a star stance. You can go in depth by saying, you know, the hand is uh, the hand and arm is skyward or facing up with the palms facing inside, that's fine, that's, that's additional information. And from there, on when the command, uh, when they say in cadence exercise. You need to say uh, the command execution of exercise. You'll do so and so of the exercise. You'll explain the exercise, right? When you can you can say the whole thing all over again once uh, once rep one and rep two, but don't forget like you know on rep four like you have to say uh, you have to tell them that they're counting the repetition, right? So yeah, that's what got me. I, um, I was I was kind of shocked when I failed because I thought I had passed. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, so I'm getting a uh, recess tomorrow. So I'm not really, uh, I'm not, I did do a little study hall with the DSO. Uh, I'm thankful uh, he did uh, He did help me out. And I realized my mistake right away when I was not inflecting my voice as much as I thought I did. So it is a fault on me. And I just want to bounce back. And I just want to let you know, like, uh, hey, if you pass, you pass. That's good for you. And those who have failed can, might not, not take it the same way as a person who can understand failure to move forward they might get stuck in that zone so like if you see your peers fail like hey, reach out to them let them know if they need any help if if they just want to talk about it you know it's all cool because i did have one of my uh two of my peers just reaching out to me make sure i was good so i do feel appreciated like like i said uh so far in the distant academy um uh, the cohesion of my squad or my class uh, you know i'm very grateful for it you know and also my dsls <laughs> They do be cracking me up, so uh, they do get my morale up. So I'm not that I, I I'm not that disappointed as I thought I would be when I failed the PRT. But PRT is something hard to fail. That is true. That is so true. So just focus on inflicting your voice and just uh, 
do a lot of rehearsals within your classmates. So do a lot of rehearsal rehearsals if you can. So yeah, that's all I got. And tomorrow we're doing. Uh, so tomorrow I will get front loaded to do uh, strength and mobility, and then once strength and mobility, I'll go at the end to do uh, endurance and mobility. So back to back. But anyways, uh, I don't have anything else. But uh, y'all take it easy. Yeah, thank you for following me. Oh, if you have any questions or if you're trying to see the rubric for this PRT, just let me know. I'll shoot it out to you.